In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to control a character in Motion Builder. First, we drag in 11 as we did. FBX open, no animation. In the character control window, we select 11 to control it. We can see that the character parameter has been shown in the navigator window. Again, it's a good habit to reset all properties. Motion Builder provides us with an IK system that allows us to control the character. We can select the display mode for the main window. If we select normal, we don't see the bone skeleton. But if we select X-ray, we will see the bone skeleton structure and can use IK to control the posture. First, we select the join. This time, we select the right hand. And then we press T to control the translation of the joint. You can see that the limbs for the whole right arm is moving because of the IK effect. We can do the same for another join using a keyboard shortcut key T. And this time we will use the keyboard shortcut R to control the rotation of the join. Notice that up to now, um, the characters is only moved by one limbs. This is because we have selected the body part IK, which means that the joint will only be will only affect the corresponding limbs. However, if we select the full body IK here, when we drag a joint, the whole body will move according to the joint position. If we are not happy with the posture, we can select the posture and click Stance Pose, which will bring the character back to the original posture, which we call the Stance Pose or the T-Pose. A good feature of Motion Builder is that you can pin the translation of one joint such that when you use IK to manipulate another joint, that pinned joint will move as, as less as possible. Similarly, you can apply um, the rotation lock to a joint. Say for example, this time we applied the lock rotation button to the which joint. So you can see that when we drag the head, only the upper body will be moved. <laughs> 